Annyeong everyone, this is Ju from Soldier Cars and today I have the base variant of the Honda CRV 2.0 S CVT. If you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and thank you for watching this video. If you want to purchase Honda vehicles, you may contact the person here in the description section below. This vehicle costs 1,678,000 pesos SRP and it does have different promos so you have to contact the person listed here in the description section below. The CRV comes in two engine options. One is the 2.0 liter gasoline engine and second is the 1.6 liter turbo diesel engine. You can also have a 5 seater option and a 7 seater option. For its performance, it's a front wheel drive. It does about 153 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 189 newton meters of torque at 4,300 RPM. It accelerates from 0 to 100 in 9.9 .9 seconds with a top speed of 191 kilometers. For its dimension, it has 4,623 by 1,855 by 1658 with a wheelbase of 2662 millimeters. Its minimum ground clearance is 170 millimeters. For its trunk capacity, it has 1053 liters of cargo space. Now this is what the CRV looks like with all the lights on. Every light is in LED, the daytime running light and also the fog lamp. They are all in nice LED and this is the park light of the Honda CRV there you go and this is what the turn signals look like in full LEDs including the turn signal here in the side mirror and this is what it looks like from the back and I say it looks fantastic looks futuristic and I just love those LED lamps and by the way this is how the key looks like it looks like other uh, Honda vehicle keys and it has keyless entry as you can see really easy to enter the vehicle this is the engine bay of the entry CRV it comes with a manual strut, uh, no insulation, but more airway, as you can see. The front fascia of the Honda CRV looks like a buffed up Brio, a buffed up HRV. And there's nothing wrong with that because I just love how the LED headlights look even when they are turned off. Some chrome accents mixed with some glossy black with the Honda logo. A perfect area for the Honda Sensing or Honda Safety feature. Lots of honeycomb grills and LEDs all over the place with some, with some chrome accents. This is a fantastic looking vehicle. Well, at first, you know, CRV used to look like a turtle. Now it is looking more of a bunny. We have a two-tone flower looking alloy wheel with Honda center cap. It has ventilated front disc braking system it is wrapped in toyo tires the size is 23560 r18s here's a look from the side it looks sharp it is not so tiny as you can see some hard plastics and chrome accents very cute looking side mirror honestly it looks really cute look at that it's like you know like a fist <laughs> A powered side mirror, body color, uh, door handles, chrome accents, uh, matte finish black here and there, the gas cap, and as you can see in the wheel well, you have plastic claddings as well. You still get a solid disc braking system here in the back with the same tire size. Shark fin antenna, roof rail, Spoiler, nice designed rear combination lamp. Uh, the chrome accents go all around the vehicle. Now we are here at the back. 
the Honda logo, the, the wiper, top mount brake light, defogger, CRV, so it's an IV tech engine. There you go. Little design there. And it comes with a backup camera. There are actually two buttons here. One is to release, one is to lock and unlock the entire vehicle. So you get a tunnel. There you go. So you get two nice lights there. You have a full size spare wheel with the jack and tools. That's a nice sight to see. And you have some levers here. Yes, you don't have doors here on the third row, but when you do activate them. Yeah. You, did you see how gracefully it folded? Because in other cars, it's like boom. But this one, as if it is electronically adjusted. Some tie downs as well. There is also another way to fold this. Just use this. Boom. Look how flat it is. Super duper flat. The door panel has nice leather surface all around. Like this one is super soft and comfortable. Wow. These are like premium leather that I can actually find in an Accord. The controls with gloss finish, metallic silver with some design. This one feels like leather, but Probably this is soft plastic. Now the side mirror is actually mounted on the door corner. So you don't have extra visual space right there. Speaker, compartment. The seats are in manual, but these are like premium filling seats with side airbags as well. These seats are really comfortable. Plenty of blanks, traction off button, compartment, the pedals. This is manually adjusted, telescopically. Now this button right here is to activate the camera on the right. It has somehow a camera for blind spot warning. Let's go inside the CRV. This is the dashboard of the entry CRV. The steering wheel is in really premium leather. It's more of a smooth type. The usual infotainment system control and the traction and the cruise control. That's airbag. The horn sounds like this. And then here are the paddle shifters. Automatic lighting system manual windshield wiper the head unit with a volume dial yes push start button air condition system this has two zones or two climate zones brake hold e-brake e-parking brake now the sides are in actually hard plastic like it would have been nice since this one is already protruding to have it leatherized we have an echo button for echo mode. This is a CVT gear shifter. Oh uh, yeah, that's a nice, nice feature. There you go. It comes with light as well, but it doesn't extend. Light and mirror. Oh, the lights are in LEDs. Sunglass case and probably microphones. Standard room mirror. The air vents are shaped somewhat normally, but on the sides, it looks flushed. This is the start of the Honda CR-V. Uh, the instrument cluster feels like the Type R, the Civic. It is a digital screen here in the center. The others are in digital, but analog at the same time. Well, they are digital. The instrument cluster looks like the control uh, cockpit of a robot. <laughs> and look how the start button turned red. 
here is the uh, head unit that is usually found in Type R, in Accord, and even the new Type R. So I think, uh, well, Honda needs to upgrade this one as soon as possible. If you want like more detailed uh, like uh, features, you can also check out the Honda Accord video in the playlist. That's a good aircon. I just love having these big dials. And here you have some charge port, uh, connectivity, plenty of compartment in this vehicle. Cup holders. This area has 12 volts large large space now um, the center console has nice leather very soft for that armrest and as you can see it says removable you can actually remove it like that so this is a good touch the CRV has plenty of compartment here although this is an entry level you have side curtain airbag yeah and you also have airbags here side airbag so uh, despite the fact that this is an entry it still has that safety in mind and you also get this on the right side the lock and unlock button on the passenger side now let's check out the quality of the backup camera there's no oh it is guiding there are trajectory lines and different modes there top mode and wider mode there you go and you can also see the quality of the side camera there you go so it is showing the rear end and also some lines right there uh, although there is a backup camera this vehicle doesn't have a rear sensor so if you want to install one you need to talk to your service advisor let's enter the second row I have adjusted the driver's seat to my normal driving position my height is 510 or 11 depending on the day then this definitely feels harder than the front that's interesting this one is like soft but this one is like feels harder so that's interesting ever so soft and smooth and cushiony armrest nice uh, detail here just to make that speaker look popped out now here's the second row now you don't find fabric here in the seat they look as comfortable and I must say in all the vehicles of Honda that I kind of borrow I like oh the seats are so nice and the ergonomics it just you look at the floor also it's almost flat <laughs> I mean a lot of space here really this is like a very practical Honda you even get rear air vents you also get two power charge ports and uh, more amenities cup holders with nice leather and that cushion wow like I remember in um, the Accord review I said like wow the center person has a really soft comfortable seat and it also goes the same for this CRV this is my first time reviewing a CRV <laughs> and look at that guys you even get a side curtain here that is fantastic you also get a nice big window there oh man this is a nice vehicle really 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 wow it is budget friendly being a Honda because it has all the nice things that you would want in this price point so I'm behind the 2021 Honda CRV 2.0 gasoline CVT. This is actually the entry model. So let's try to drive this vehicle around. This is my first time actually to drive a CRV. Oh, that's a nice mini. 
So in low speed, the steering wheel feels uh, really well planted actually. It is soft, but uh, just the perfect uh, level of uh, the hardness. Oh, I like that very much. And this has a CVT and let's see how the CVT will perform. But as of now, I'm going through the urban jungle. Yes, we have patching here and there. Uh, I don't hear that much noise. I like the feeling of being inside the CRV and the seats are really comfortable and I really like the smell. This uh, demo unit is actually almost uh, a brand new unit and it smells so good. I also like that this vehicle has auto brake hold function. When I turn right, the camera on the right turns on and it shows me the blind spot and I like that as well. It's automated. I don't really need to press this one all the time. That's good. And this vehicle also comes with paddle shifter. I mean, you don't get those in normal entry variants. The CRV actually comes with a multi-link at the back and McPherson in front. So I would expect a nice, nice ride in this vehicle. Okay guys, we are in the CRV and we are finally gonna speed up a bit. Yep. Definitely this uh, CVT has the rubber band effect But as you just get past that rubber band stage You can easily speed up because this vehicle has a CVT You do have that rubber band effect so If I am a member of the family who owns this I'll always be happy at the back because it is really cozy the seat material is amazing uh, the cushion and the amount of space you get, it is fantastic. Now, this is a Honda. Honda has hardcore fans. And I'm sure this CRV will still continue to become one of the best or one of the favorite uh, cars out there in the Philippines. And there's no doubt about it. This is a nice vehicle. You can't go wrong with it. It's just that you might have different preferences like um, the safety system, the materials, the color, and you know, everything, the history of the brand all, and all those things. Definitely, the CRV has good fuel economy. It has really neat, neat cockpit. And the way they uh, work with black color, with different material, different pattern color, black, I think they did it very well. So, good job, Japanese people. The sound system, also good <laughs> yeah I wonder how it feels like in the higher variants I know like I saw wood trim on the doors which is not really my style but uh, it would be interesting for me to experience one very soon thank you everyone for watching this video Wow I must say I was impressed I'm really impressed uh, with the airbags and also the seats the room Oh, the leather, it's so soft and nice. Wherever you see a leather in this vehicle, wow, I just want to press it and squeeze it because, you know, it is so soft and cuddly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was Drew from Soju Cars. If you want to purchase your Honda vehicles, you may contact the person listed here in the description section below at Honda Otis or Honda Manila or Honda Paco. I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Annyeong!